Please remember that all the opinions in the show are those of the host and should only be taken as food for thought. We're in no way telling you to do anything. Everything is kept anonymous for the safety of the listeners and no information is shared to anyone else. If you are easily offended by people's opinions or views, then thank you for making it this far, but this is not the podcast for you, so see you later. And please enjoy the rest of the show. Uh, so this listener says, I've been listening for some time and I really enjoy your opinion on my question. Uh, this is a new email thread, so I have no idea what his previous question is. Uh, I've been training for a half marathon this year. And when I say training, I absolutely have done nothing for it. <laughs> I've also lied and bigged myself up to a girl about it and my friends as well. I'm due to do it in two weeks and I'm slightly panicked. I've dug a grave too, de- uh, too deep I can't get out of. It's in a town down by the coast and my two friends have agreed to come with me while I do it. It could be a disaster. I'm not the most fit person in the world, so I'm, me lying about all training I've done could come back to bite me. Any ideas of an exit strategy? Fake an injury. I knew Jay was going to say that. <laughs> I I would wait until you get down there as well. Get down there with your mates. Um, book into the hotel room, fall down the stairs. I thought you were going to say like be on the starting line and then like as you're stretching, pull like a hammy or something. <laughs> no, no, no. I would throw <laughs> myself down the stairs. At the train station or something, you could, uh, like, you could like um, <laughs> roofie yourself in like a bottle of water, like with like a like a, a laxative or something. You're at the oh, yeah, that's line a good. That's, yeah, some water in your mouth, and you're like, "Oh, this is a good." And you like run off to the toilet, and then you can't get off. And um, I well, you got this email a couple of weeks ago, so he's he's probably running the the marathon as we speak. But I said, I added Jamie's fake an injury. But for me, I would still do it. Running a marathon is always something I've always wanted to do. Mm. And we said to someone before about he, they hadn't trained for it. And you just got to do it. Like marathons are not easy. Whether you you could be training for months and you could still not make it to the end or like walk half of it. Yeah. And I, I listened to Ramesh Ranganev because he just ran the London Marathon not long ago. He um, said that on the lead that this might make the car listener feel a bit better about it on the lead up. You're supposed to not do any running at all. Oh, you're not. Yeah. They're like, there's like a three week period or something beforehand that you're not supposed to run at all. And just make sure that you've got enough like stuff going into your body and that you're maintaining fitness. Obviously don't go crazy and get a dominoes or something, but like at, at least two weeks before or something you can't do any physical running or or long distance running anyway i didn't know that because that would yeah, leave just, your muscles in fatigue oh uh, i just think myself like to be able to say you've done it is more than your mates that are standing you watch have done oh okay. yeah so doing it and having to walk half of it or doing it and not finishing it yeah i mean it just shows that you've done it and that's the main thing i think to me mm um and it's still an achievement man something i i I can't say i've done i don't think jamie's done charlotte's done a half marathon she's done Um, a couple isn't she yeah she's done a few i i'm one of these but this would be me this right listener would be me i would sign up to it get excited about it tell everyone that i'm doing it and how well i'm doing at training even though i'm not doing anything and then i'll get to two weeks before and i'll be like mate i'm fucked and then that's exactly what i would i would be that exact person i know i would be yeah i um i was gonna do one with charlotte and her mate they tried to convince me to do it mm. and luckily for me i knew what my mentality was so i was like oh i'll start training and if the training's going well i'll sign up to it and a week yeah. later i just never fucking <laughs> that was out of the window but um but yeah no it's always something i want you to do so it's an achievement. Yeah, just fucking do it. If you're mm. really, really fucking scared, then yeah, you know, faking injury is probably the... That happens all the time. You get like, Jake Paul and Mike Tyson's fight has been postponed because he got onto a fucking plane and his ulcer flared up, but now they've got to postpone it. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean, like, injuries happen all the time, in, even in, like, professional sports, so I wouldn't be too worried about it. But if you... I, to me, if you fake an injury you've got to sign up the next year because they're like, oh, you know, you missed out on it. So you're going to sign up next year and you've got to say yes because you've trained for it. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, you that, that's that, a that's a good point. It's fake the injury, but then your self respect for yourself needs to tell you tell you that you are gonna do the next one, and yeah. you actually have to train this time. That's yeah, lesson do learned. Now. Don't be a bullshitter, <laughs> and then sign up to the next one. Yeah, so if you just do it now, you don't have to sign up to the next one. You've done it, innit? it? Yeah, true. Do it I you could do it even if you crash and burn. Your mates are still gonna support you anyway. Yeah, of course. You might get a bit of fucking a rip in you, but yeah, that's just what guys do, isn't they? It's a good. Luck. Would you be a guy from Britain if you didn't get ripped into by your mates? I said before in a previous thing, banter is just a word that we use because we like to insult each other and get mm. away with it. Like and I not like, hurt each other's feelings too much. I get personal pleasure from upsetting other people. <laughs> That's what banter is. <laughs> and that's why the English are so good at it, because we're so miserable at everything. We just like to bring everyone else down. Um, so, yeah, good luck. We hope you, you got past the finish line. Or, you know, hope your leg feels better, whichever way you decide. Mm-hmm.